personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, Johnny Beck, Eileen Canuli, you know, Johnny Beck, the WBO middleweight champion, you know, they got some news on him because the WBO has ordered his next fight, and he has 20 days to negotiate this fight before they head to purse bid hearing. Minimum purse bid, should it go to purse bid, is a $200,000 minimum bid. Now, Liam Smith, that's 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 the fight they've ordered. Johnny Beck versus Liam Smith, which I think at this point is a very intriguing fight because Liam Smith is in a in a really good run of form. You know, he he, he absolutely destroyed Chris Eubank Jr., knocked him out. Has been Hasamu Aquino, Anthony Fowler. It's about it's, it's like a, it's, he's like on a four or five fight win streak since he lost to Magomed Kurbanov a couple years ago. And he really at this point if he's a 60 pounder, I would say he's probably one of the better 60 pounders out there because the division is not uh, an extremely deep division as far as talent's concerned. Johnny Beck's coming out of, of, of a fight with um, Denzel Bentley, where I thought Denzel Bentley did a lot in that fight. You know, it was close. I, th I, th I thought it was a little closer than the, than the, the, the judges had it. You know, I, I think it could have went either way, but, you know, uh, Johnny Beck scraped by and it was a good learning fight for him as champion. But uh, I like this fight because right now, as it stands, I think. Uh, Johnny Beck is a guy that has a lot to prove. Johnny Beck is a guy that really hasn't beaten anybody who you would say with the name who still has like a lot left in the tank like Liam Smith. And Liam Smith, for, for him, this fight would be like a, the opportunity to become a two-division champion. So why, why not pounce on it if, if, uh, if Johnny Beck agrees to the fight? We're going to see if Johnny Beck's really the boogeyman because now he's got the belt. And with great power comes great responsibility. So... You know, I, I criticize Andrade a lot for avoiding him, and I will do the same if Johnny Beck should avoid uh, Liam Smith, because you know, at the end of the day, Liam Smith is a guy that's uh, a name in boxing. You know, he's been there with guys like Canelo Alvarez, Chris Eubank, um, and a whole host of guys, Jaime Munguia, all the guys that Johnny Beck hopes to fight, all the guys that Johnny Beck, you know, says on uh, Twitter, you know, he wants to knock out the boxing stars. Liam Smith has fought him, so I feel like this could for him, if he's as good as he believes and his handlers believe. This is the gateway to those fights, you know, especially now because I feel like Leah Smith is a fighter that since the Munguia fight and since the Canelo fights, he's gotten better. Like he, he's not he's not a guy that um, has regressed. He's progressed in his career as he's gotten older. He's probably, maybe, maybe you could even say he's been a, a bit of a late bloomer as he's found himself in the pro ranks. But um, good fight. Johnny Beck, Southpaw, very technical, punch of power in both hands. You know, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see how he does with a guy like Leah Smith who we know is, is very durable. He's been in there with some big punchers, guys like Munguia, guys like Canelo, guys like Magomed Kurbanov. Um, how would Johnny Beck handle the back part of that fight or the middle part of that fight with uh, Liam Smith? Because we saw what the Bentley did to him. We saw what Denzel Bentley did to Johnny Beck and and, 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 Johnny, and, and Denzel Bentley, fair play to him. I, I thought he fought uh, above, above his talent level on the night. I think he fought better than he really was that night because he, he rose to the occasion. Um, but I, I think Liam Smith is of the pair of them is a, is a better fighter, and I think that there, there, would, there would be more worry about you know uh, how does Johnny Beck deal with how does he cope with the, the straight right hand and the left hook of Liam Smith? How does he deal with the stamina of Liam, Liam Smith? Uh, if Johnny Beck has a hard time establishing his jab, does he have a plan B or a plan C? Like there's so many things stylistically with that type of fight, to where I think you know Johnny Beck would would have to worry about. So I, I'm hoping it's a fight that comes off, because the way it's looking, I don't think Johnny Beck's fighting Carlos Adams anytime soon. Although I'd want to see it. Uh, I don't think he's fighting Charlo because Charlo's been inactive. He's probably going to want to stay busy fight to knock out the ring rust. Um, and that's just what it is. So Johnny Beck versus Liam Smith. That's a fight that I never, I can never consider. But now that it's been brought to my attention, it's not a fight that I'm against. It's a fight that I'm actually pr uh, for. Because like I said, Liam Smith does have name value. He's been in there with names. The networks, could, you know, ESPN should have no problem. If they have no problem putting on Denzel Bentley... They should have no problem putting on Liam Smith, who's been in there with big, big top flight names. And he's a name in the sport. And with that being said, he's, he's a name who's, whose name himself is rising because of the win against Eubank and, and, and the way he beat him. So, um, yeah, let's see what Johnny Beck has. Let, let's see if Johnny Beck can beat a guy at Liam Smith. And let's see if he can uh, show that he's better than he, than he was against Denzel Bentley. They have 20 days to negotiate. <laughs> if not, the fight's going to purse bid. So make it out what you will. Let me, let me know what you guys think about this fight stylistically. Who do you favor and why? 
Um, and if he doesn't fight Leah Smith, do you guys consider it a duck? Leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.